Isa, but Isaac, he understood the culture of blessing. And he understood his word has power. That's why he did not change his word. He told Jacob, you are going to be blessed. And this blessing came to him. You know, very often I meet people, when people come and say, my father never blessed me. He always cursed me. I have a good news for those people. The thing is, our parents, they are not a source of blessing. They are only channels. God is a source of blessing. And even if you're the second news in this story, if even your natural father never, never blessed you, God is going to bless you because he is the source of blessing. And he wants to bless us. And Heavenly Father, he prepared the whole blessing package for us. And this package is Jesus died on the cross for us. And because he died, we have blessing from the Lord. In Galatians 3.13 says here, Christ has redeemed us from the curse of the law, having become a curse for us. For it is written, Cursed is everyone who hangs on a tree. That the blessing of Abraham, hey, my friends, it's a good news. That the blessing of Abraham, say with me, the blessing of Abraham might come upon the Gentiles in Christ Jesus. God is talking about blessing of Abraham on every person sitting here. God is going to bless you because he is God Almighty. And nothing is impossible with God. You know, by the way, if you remember that lady who was 10 years paralyzed, and uh, when she, she, was, she was in Ukraine, and then they transported her by airplane to Kamchatka to her relatives, and when she was healed, you might think, well, now the whole, all the relatives will accept the Lord because she was healed. You know what? No one gets saved in her family yet. You know what they said, her relatives, her daughter? They said, she got well because it's a good climate in Kamchatka. <laughs> what? <laughs> good climate in Kamchatka. Well, you can, now we can get all the sick people in America and bring them to Kamchatka and let them get well <laughs> because it's a good climate in Kamchatka. Oh, by the way, we can, we can make a good money on that, you know. We can advertise and they can put these small packages, you know, with the DVDs and, you know, if you bring the Kamchatka and you can bring them on bikes, you know, and we can make a good deals. But think about this. People are so numb. Even see the miracle. Sometimes we, th we think if we will see miracle, everything will be changed. Nothing. No. Miracles, they can change, but not always change in people. But when people submit their life to the Lord and say, God, we need you. When they come to the end of the rope and say, God, we need you. This is when God is starting to work. And I think the same for us Christians. If you're praying for something and nothing happens, there is a time when you have to cry out to the Lord and God is able to change everything in our life. Because nothing is impossible with our God. By the way, if you start to pray that God will bring alcoholics to your family, uh, not family, but in your church and they get saved, you, you can be amazed. When God starts to bring people, homeless people, you will be amazed. I know when church was praying for homeless people, God started to bring homeless guys, but they don't smell a Chanel 5, you know. <laughs> and you know what happened? The church actually split. Because they didn't want to feel those guys, you know, how they smell. <laughs> and God wants to bless not only me, but generations. That we can bring this message to many people in the world. That generations will be blessed. I'm going to pray with you tonight. And this is what I want us to pray. If I don't know if you prayed this or not before. But if you want to pray for your family line. For your generations. For your children. Grandchildren. Grand-grandchildren. If you want to pray for them that God will change their life. God is going to do that. Think about Jonathan Edwards. One man. Change the whole generational line. I'm saying, God, I want to be like Jonathan Edwards. I want to see, I don't know when you're coming back, but I want to see thousands of people, my, my descendants will serve you. This is a prayer I would like to offer if you would like. Let's, if, if you would like to pray for your generations, for your grand-grandchildren, we can come forward and just say, God, we want them to come to you. We want them to serve you. If you would like, let's do it. Let's come forward and pray together. <clears throat> Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. 
Father, you say, we said in your word, ask and it will be given to you. That's why we come to you, Lord, tonight and we ask you. We're asking for miracle in our family life generationally, that our children, grandchildren will be blessed. Father, we're asking you that you can do miracle in our family's lives. I pray for those right now who don't serve you. Maybe children, maybe grandchildren, maybe even parents don't serve you.